just just take it in the moment. Just don't have to see this anymore. I'm I'm just I'm just taking it in the moment. All right. Headphones, they're off, just like his headphones are off, and we're back. Final day of the regular season. We're back. Five bets in five minutes. NFL style is back. Thumbs up, subscribe. You know what we do here on the Odd Shopper channel. Oh, by the way, you can see below me. $5 in $200 right back on DraftKings. We have so much to get to. So much to get to in a very limited amount of time. So as I get the clock up here and ready to go, you out there, you know what to do as well. Let us begin. Did I mention that you have to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe in order for this thing to start? It, it just, it won't work any other way. Okay, now we can begin. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we have a nice little background too. I like that. Just wanted to make sure that it was official. We start with Kenny Pickett. Hey, Kenny Pickett over 15 and a half rushing yards. That's the first play of our five bets in five minutes. Pittsburgh needs this game. Cleveland is in prime spoiler mode. Kenny Pickett doesn't throw touchdowns, but I do think you'll see him clearly move on the ground. I am a little surprised this number is so low at 15 and a half. I thought it would be a little higher, closer to 20, but that's fine with me at 15 and a half rushing yards for Kenny Pickett. That's going to be a prime, not the main, but a prime way in which they can move the football. I just don't think you're going to see a ton of offense in the air. It's a low total for a reason. Cleveland is going to win, try to win this game. Sorry. Cleveland is, is coming out guns blazing here. So expect the Steelers to do what they've done more so than not barely in order to get here. And that's ground game, at least on offense, specifically with the quarterback and running back moving with their legs. Second play. Well, it's going to be JK Dobbins. Same theme here. Baltimore running a backup, et cetera. We know that they're a nine point road favorite. I imagine that changes when Cincinnati starts sitting people. But what we see here is what we see here. Baltimore has JK Dobbins and Gus Bradley. Those two guys are the vehicle right now with a backup quarterback and not being able to rely on that backup quarterback's legs like you can rely on Lamar Jackson's legs. Not all the time, but to get you out a little. He also doesn't throw like Lamar. The game plan here is going to be running the football. And look, what I love about J.K. Dobbins and, and even Gus to a lesser extent is that you don't really have to worry so much about what's the nature of the game flow. Look, if they're down 10 points in the third quarter, they're not going to abort running the football, especially with a guy like J.K. Dobbins. Now we move on under 220 and a half for Joe Flacco. 220 and a half to Joe Flacco. I don't know how this game gets to a scenario where Joe Flacco is dropping back 40 times. Look, I get the Dolphins are susceptible to being able to throw the football, but the reason why Joe Flacco is in this game today is because he's not going to throw for 221 because he doesn't have that threat like Mike. You wanted somebody to throw for 250, then put Mike White in. Mike White, and you had that chance, you had that opportunity but you didn't want to do that. You wanted to roll with Joe Flacco so you know you could lose this game. And if you start to get into the neck and neck scenario, you can be like, ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on. The flip side here is the offense won't move well at all. doesn't matter who the quarterback is outside of maybe Mike White. I love going under 220 and a half for Joe Flacco. Hey, man, you see the guy behind me, Jalen Hurts? No? You haven't seen him before? Oh, this guy, this guy. You know what our next play is? It's going to be this guy throwing to that guy, Devontae Smith. Devontae Smith, plus 105, anytime touchdown. All right? Wait until you see what I have. That's the fifth one. It's going to be super smash. Devontae Smith, plus 105, anytime touchdown. So long as it is plus money for Devontae, I want it. And you've seen this number dip, 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 but he will get a touchdown against the Giants. They're going to roll the New York football Giants. It's 15 and a half. I have no problem laying anything up to 16 at this point. 13 point monster teasers work well, but that's neither here nor there. It's about Jalen Hurts being back and connecting with the most underrated wide receiver in the NFL right now. Whoa. Absolutely. They should be talking about Devontae like they're talking about AJ and they don't because I get it. AJ's the man. Last play. All right, I want you to understand Peyton Hendershot last touchdown score, okay? 
I want you to really un- grasp what's going on with Ron Rivera. Ron Rivera decided to start a guy that nobody's heard of because he's trying to get fired and really solidify the firing in order for him to go out with some money, right? Smart move. It's a business decision. I love it. I love it. So here's what I would do. Target somebody back end on the Dallas Cowboys getting one of those meaningless touchdowns that solidifies, just absolutely solidifies. Peyton Hendershot from Cooper Rush with four minutes to go, putting Dallas up 35-13. The nail in the coffin. That is your dagger. Whatever the proverbial phrase would be. By the way, you kind of have to put a dollar on this just to put a dollar on this, right? But that's our fifth play in five minutes. Peyton Hendershot plus 2,200 last TD score. All right, we're going to run all these back here for you. Don't worry. Let me tell you, though, how you can turn that $5 into 200 Simple, easy process, right? All I need from you is to sign up on a link below. This whole process, what I'm about to tell you, is going to take 90 seconds. That's it, 90 seconds. So click on this link below. It's going to bring you to DraftKings. Put your information in. Sign up. You know the drill. Connect an account. Could be a bank account, PayPal. Doesn't matter. Anything you want, that's fine. What have you. And then bet $5 on Georgia, minus 435. Two quick things. One, the game doesn't even need to start. As soon as you place that wager, you'll see $200 right back into your account. So you've got that, and you also have the wager that's out there. You don't need to wait. You don't need to wait at all, but you have to place the wager. So that's the difference. I want you to place, immediately place the wager. And you'll see your account credited with that $200. That's $195 profit immediately. And think of the difference. You bet five to win 195, 200 total versus five to win a dollar 14. Pretty simple odds, right? I don't even need to show you a graphic on that. It's really simple. So come hang with us. Now, as far as the five and five is concerned, let's run it back. Over 15 and a half rushing yards for Kenny Pickett, over 59 and a half rushing yards for J.K. Dobbins, under 220 and a half passing yards for Joe Flacco. And yes, Devontae Smith, anytime touchdown. Our lotto ticket, Peyton Hendershot, plus 2,200. Last, last, not first, not any, last guy to cross the end zone is Peyton Hendershot. We've got to go for a backup scenario there, all right? So there you have it. You've got the free money on DK. you got everything ready to go, good to go here. A reminder, right? I want you to place that five in five, and we'll be good to go, all right? Thumbs up, subscribe, you know the drill.